Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to do another board game, well, yeah, board game unboxing. This is a brand new game, at least from what I've seen. Um, I've always looked for it and never seen it on their website. Um, this is a game in which I have the uh, basketball and hockey versions, as well as the football, but the basketball and hockey versions uh, from this company I have showcased on the channel some time ago. Um, I believe I've done full playthroughs uh, of each game. Um, they're long playthroughs. They're probably one of the few tabletop um, sports games other than Solitaire Pro Football, I think, that I've done on my channel. Um, but this is a baseball game, a brand new, I guess I'm just going to say a brand new baseball game. It's fairly new. Um, and it is by a company that I've, like I said, I've showcased some of their stuff on my channel before. Um, Griffin, uh, I believe, is the guy um, from Orlando, Florida, who is the head, owns this company. Um, I haven't seen any videos on this yet, on this game. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do a few on this. But this is the first unboxing or unenveloping, I guess you can say, because this is how they, they send their games out. And without further ado... It is from, as you can see here, Dice Nuts Sports Games, 3324 Can Bay Ave, Orlando, Florida. And this game is, you guessed it already, Dice Nuts Baseball. So it was the only sport that they hadn't done yet. They do do a soccer game, which I also have. Um, but this game came really quickly. He says, do not bend on there. So I will showcase it on here. All right, let's see what we got inside here. Oh, good, they put a nice piece of cardboard in here to keep it stiff. Let's see what the little note is here first. Yep, so Dice Nuts Baseball has been added to the library. Like I said, it was the only one. All right, and golf, too, that's right. I think I've showcased a little bit of golf, too. So they have Dice Nuts Pro Golf, Dice Nuts Pro Football, Hoop Nuts, Pro Basketball, Ice Nuts, Dice Hockey, and Soccer Nuts, Dice Football. So this this is the latest one in here, uh, Dice Nuts Baseball. Um, play Baseball, Play Ball. Dice Nuts Baseball offers up all the excitement and drama of America's game, whether you choose basic or advanced mode. So there's two modes, just like Stratomatic and other games. Um, you'll... Coach clutch hitters and sluggers, dominant pitchers and reliable relievers, shore glove fielders and dynamic base stealers as they provide true to life statistical accuracy. Advanced mode uses pitching and batting splits. Cool. Does your pitcher struggle against lefty batters? Maybe you should consider putting in a reliever. Your next batter can bat both ways. Which hand gives him the best advantage versus the pitcher? Strategies like sacrifice bunt, hold runner, pinch hitting, and running. Infield in, hit and run, and more can be incorporated too. Play head to head or solitaire for a fun, statistically accurate experience at your very own tabletop ballpark. Cool. All right. So this game has a. Uh, so there it is right there. Dice Nuts Baseball. This game does have a. Uh, it only doesn't have a season out yet. I think it's got the greatest, greatest teams that comes with it. And that's what I ended up getting right now. But I'm sure Griff, they will have some. Uh, coming out soon what did i do with my scissors i just had them over here um so yeah they have they do a lot with greatest greatest teams which are which are fun to use um and it did have a couple of greatest teams that i was interested in including the 2004 red sox of course so that kind of sold me on it so let's just see what we got here Ooh, this chart looks like we got some charts and stuff here oh looks like you got a field so we got here. no dice though that's odd there's got to be some dice in here somewhere huh interesting I don't know why they wouldn't be dice it's dice nuts <laughs> I would have expected dice to be in here but let's just check it out here so let's check out the, the field here maybe I'm just overlooking it right here so this is your field so it looks like it's got some right field Center field, right field, left field. Looks like it's got some numbers there to roll. 
when the ball is hit. Again, I'm not sure how this works. I haven't seen any how to play videos or anywhere, so maybe we'll have to put one up once we learn how to play this. Okay, so that's uh, that's like a, like a card stock kind of thing. Not thick card stock, but a card stock. Uh, let's see what we got here. Dear valued customer. Thank you for purchasing Dyson Spaceball. We sincerely hope you enjoy the game. We have enclosed a sacrifice front chart to replace the one in the bottom right of the game charts under the miscellaneous charts. Unfortunately, printing was completed before the chart was finalized. Chart to replace one in the bottom right. Okay. If you would like us to email a digital PDF of the complete bunt chart with the updated sacrifice bunt chart, please contact us at Dyson's. Best regards, Griffin. I probably will. And, all right, so yeah, this is the sacrifice one. I'll get a PDF of it. Why not? I can print it out. That's a sacrifice bunt chart. Okay. All right. So these, if you're familiar with uh, Dice Nuts games, they usually have some kind of a chart like this. So it looks like it's a D20 and... A D10. That's usually what you roll. So that's the at bat, bat versus pitch hit chart here. Pop up line chart. Play at the plate. Error. Miscellaneous chart. Steal. Sacrifice bunt. Wild pitch. This must be the one that's. Yeah, looks like it's a little different there. Okay, well, whatever. I can always just put it up top there. Not a big, no big deal. I'm going to laminate these anyway, most likely. So I'll just probably cut this out and put it on top there and laminate it. No big deal. Hey, at least they updated it. That's good. And then on the back, that's just the front there. That's uh, kind of a thick card stuck, too. Looks like you got some uh, charts here to keep score. score. I mean, uh, yeah, score, score charts here. Uh, and here we go. Here are the teams, it looks like. So normally, with a lot of times with the Dice Nuts sports games, they have, uh, I think the football does it, maybe some others, but this is the, uh, well, it looks like they are individual. You can cut them out if you want to, but you can, or you can just leave them in there. So it gives you a batting order, it gives you the players. So it looks like it's batting, slugging, adjustments, Versus left-handed versus right-handed, plus one, plus, I mean plus three, so pluses and minus. So you subtract or add to the dice rolls, the D20s and D10s. Yeah. So if you're familiar with Dice Nuts games, this is it. So you got 1995 Atlanta. That's another reason why I want to get it, too, because it had, a, had Atlanta in it, too. 1995 Atlanta, one of my favorite teams. And 2004 Boston, all on the same on the same chart well you cut them in half and you get boston and you get Atlanta. maybe i'll play the boston versus atlanta my first game that would be cool 2004 red sox and then you have your 1975 cincinnati i would have liked the 1975 red sox but cincinnati won so they i'm sure that's why they put them uh cleveland 1954 and then you have your detroit 1984 that's a good team 1963 Dodgers. Just to show you a little bit of pace up there. And I'll go over this more when I do actually play a game, but I think give you like a lineup to use. Okay. Uh, I'll show you the backs of these afterward too. It looks like the stuff on the back maybe. Uh, 1969 New York Mets, of course. 1932 New York, New York Yankees. Interesting. 1932, huh? Huh, interesting, that's a 1927. So that's good. Something different. Uh, and then additional players. Okay, so you get additional players from the Atlanta Braves. Looks like there's four additional play, five additional players. Uh, Red Sox additional players. Yeah, so it's like additional players. Huh, David Ortiz additional player. In interesting. Well, I'm glad they didn't forget him. <laughs> he was rather important there. So these are additional players here. And the backs here. It looks like they have a front and back. The additional players. Are these are the same guys. Let's see here. Emails. Yeah, these are... Oh, so it looks like you got more additional players back here. So front and back additional players. Okay. Interesting. Uh, the backs. Oh, see, so these are the back... Oh, these are the pitchers, of course. you got to have the pitchers. Yeah. So the pitchers. Looks like they include 10 pitchers for the... For each team. Okay. Alright. 
that's cool. Yeah, so these are your greatest teams. So it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think it was eight greatest teams. I'm sure they'll have more coming soon. And lastly, let's go over the uh, the rule book here. I didn't get my dice though. I guess I can just use my dice for the other thing. Let's see here. Field with baseball, marker discs, position, game contents. Yeah, 10 and 20 sided dice. I guess they forgot to die. Unless I overlooked it. It might be in there somewhere. I'll look inside the let me look inside the package again. Oh, there here. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. They're in the corner here. So you got your die. Right here. D20 and a D10. My bad. I just didn't feel them, so I didn't think they were in here. Okay, so a D20. I've got plenty of these D20s anyway, so. This looks like a green D20 and a kind of like off. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> kind of like an orangey pink. Yeah, something different. Almost the red sauce colors. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so yeah, so these are all the instructions right here. It's just the uh, one, two, three pages of instructions, just like the uh, hockey and the bas in the basketball that I've seen. But yeah, it looks like there's an injury chart, chart results key. So not too many charts in here, just a few. And, and they're, I'm sure they're pretty easy to use. So optional, so you have optional rules on here, injuries, ballpark adjustments. Pitching charts explain so good. That's good. And it battered charts explain so explains how to use the uh, batter and pitcher charts. It's been a while since I played a dice nuts game, so I gotta re. Uh, I'm sure it'll come right back to me though. I'm sure it's very similar to those other games that I have, just like inside pitch games. Once you learn how to play the system, it's not that hard. Yeah. So that's it. Just four pages of rules. Gotta love it. But that's it. That is the unboxing of Dice Nuts Baseball. By Dice Nuts Game 2015. I don't remember this being around that long. Maybe Dice Nuts. Oh, Dice Nuts Sports Games has probably been around since then, yeah. I'm not sure when this came out. This this must it came out fairly recently. I haven't checked their site in a year or two, so it probably came out then. I'm not sure exactly when it came out. But, yeah, be interested to get this one to the table. It's been a while since I played a... Um, tabletop baseball game, uh, but that's good. Maybe this will be the first baseball table um, tabletop game I feature on my channel. That would be cool. But I almost feel like I have to do it now that I placed I've done the other dice nuts games. So we'll see. We'll see how long this takes. Hopefully, it, won't, it definitely shouldn't take as long as the uh, basketball and the hockey games. But again, it's a learning curve. Once you get it going, it's not too bad. But that's it. That's the new unboxing of. A fairly new game, uh, Dice Nuts Baseball. And hopefully you'll see some other videos, playthrough videos to come. So thank you for watching. It's Renek from Higher Ground Gaming with another unboxing. This time a sports game. Hey, will this make my top 100 for next year? We will see. So take care and God bless. And we will see you in the next unboxing. Because we have plenty of them to go. Bye-bye now.